my request, sir. In that respect, I am supporting this bill. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wonderful, Sri Kanaka Medala Ravindra Kumar. Thank you, madam, for giving this opportunity. Uh, the Inter-Service Organization Command, Control and Discipline Bill 2023. The government intended to bring the officers belonging to various service of defense establishment, that is Air Force, Navy and Army, but who are serving in an interest service organization under commander-in-chief of the, or the commander, officer-in-commander under a single act, so that while serving under a commander-in-chief or the officer-in-command, any disciplinary issues that can be dealt accordingly without uh, referring the matter to the respective services for taking appropriate action under relevant act, that is Air Force Act 1950, Army Act 1950, or Navy Act 1957. This bill is basically is enabling legislation which empowers the heads of the inter-service organizations to service effective command, control, and discipline on all personnel of regular Air Force, Army, and Navy and to persons of other forces as notified by the central government who are serving in or attached in an inter-service organization without amending the respective acts. Sir, over the period of time, military operations become more complex and interdependent because the global security landscape has evolved in such a manner. The emergence of uh, symmetric threats, cyber warfare, and the need for joint operations demanded greater coordination, communication, and seamless integration among the different branches of armed forces. The inter-service organization, command, control, and discipline bill 2023 is essential under these circumstances. What happened during the Mumbai terror attack, everybody knows, due to this uh, systematic coordination between varied security forces, the threat was handled in such a coordinated manner. Uh, that the perpetrators were uh, forced to run for shelter and they took shelter in neighboring countries. This bill acknowledged the requirement for a unified approach to command, control, and discipline within the armed forces by establishing a precise and uniform mechanism across all ISOs by granting commander-in-chief and officer-in-command of ISO authority to exercise disciplinary and administrative powers regardless of the specific services of personnel belonging to, the bill posters of sense of unity and collective responsibility. This bill would have direct impact on command, control, and discipline of inter-service organizations like uh, Andaman and Nicobar Command, our Defense Space Agency, and joint training establishment like National Defense Academy or National Defense College, as the commander-in-chief or officer-in-command of such inter-service organizations are not empowered to exercise disciplinary or administrative powers over the personnel belonging to other services. In view of this, uh, this bill is very much needed. I congratulate the Honorable Defense Minister. In view of this, I welcome and support the bill. Thank you, Chair.